Welcome students to module 404 document feedback. In this tutorial we are going to cover how to use Microsoft Word to provide feedback on a document that has been submitted by your students. This is actually a very easy, very fast, and very convenient way to correct any papers, especially on the grammatical side, to provide feedback for your students and tell them what they need to do to make their paper better. First thing that we are going to do is here I have opened the, the the document that we are going to be providing some feedback on. We're going to go to the review tab and here are all the options that we are going to use to provide document feedback. The first thing that I want to do is open a reviewing pane so I can see what I'm writing and in the show markup I'm going to go down to the balloons and tell me and tell the computer to show their revisions in balloons. The first correction that we are going to make is here for the title. We are going to select it, do a right click, and scroll down to new comment. You can see the little bubble pops up on, on the right and this is what we actually want that we chose down here in the balloons option. So what I am going to tell them here is to use a title that is a little more descriptive. As you can see, what I am writing on the balloon automatically shows up here on the left hand. So now let's move on to our next correction. We can use the strike through option by selecting a portion of the document. Under our home tab we go down to the strike through option that is right below your fonts menu. This is to tell them that we don't want that. So here, since it's selected, we can actually write a new comment. And I can write the comment either on here and it'll show up on my balloon, or I can write it on the balloon and it'll show up on the revisions tab. I'm just going to do it on the balloon and tell them this section is irrelevant. Take this out. There we go. Just click outside of it. The next correction that we are going to do is come down here where it says 24 hours a day for 7 days a week. What we can do in this section instead of um, strike through, we can highlight it by pressing the highlighter option and select a comment we are going to give them a comment right here by right-clicking and scrolling down to new comments. This is to show you the viewer how to use highlighter function. It will help if I can spell highlighter. There we are. And one last bubble that we are going to create is here from the Cunningham's all the way to Attitude by doing the exact same thing. Select it, right click, new comment. And we are going to tell them the following. This is very awkward and repetitive. I know what you are trying to say here, but there has to be a better way. What is the ultimate point to make here? Now, if you want to leave your comments, if you want to be able to view the comments that is inside your balloon, you can just leave it like that, or you can click up on the 
show comments button. This will actually get rid of, of the comments and it'll only show you the balloon. And when you mouse over the, the balloon, it'll tell you click to see the comments and it will highlight the section that you corrected or that you made comments to. There we are. We click and it displays in a little window the comments that you made. If you want to see the comments again that you made, you have them right here in the revisions pane and you also have them in your balloons. Once you are done with the document, just click save or save as, whatever your option, and save it to your designated drive. This has been a tutorial on how to provide document feedback.